Man, behind the scenes, we just rolled into a fun one. You excited? I'm ready. We got uh, we got the Kubota. We got the 120. If I just had a second operator, we'd be set for the day. All right, guys, for some reason, I did not do a good job of describing what was going on here. And if I don't tell you, you guys might be lost and be mad at me. And we definitely don't want that. So we were actually on a job uh, of a couple, this couple, this customer here. We built a house for them. It was actually the only tiny ICF house we ever built uh, approximately seven years ago. Uh, at that time, it was kind of a vacation rental farm, and they loved it so much they've actually moved here full time. And now they need basically a storage building. They're wanting to have some uh, livestock, some animals. He's wanting to get a little tractor. And they just need a place in the dry. So uh, they're pretty particular about their woods here. So we're trying to uh, be as respectful as we can. But basically, we've got to clear out an area big enough uh, for a barn pad and for a borrow pit. So that is basically the goal for today is to get all the trees removed. Yeah. <laughs>
right. Somebody's got to be able to count. Have you ever put any thought into that question I asked you? What you want it to be when you grow up? <laughs> I guarantee it's going to involve AC cab, isn't it? Two. Go for it, big boy. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> If you could, I'd like you to line that one up the way you got the other two. There you go. There, that's a lot better. Appreciate that. All right, one left. All right, where you want to go with it? Alright. It just makes me feel like you listen to me for a change. Thank 
That makes me real happy. Starting to clear out, look like something. Yeah, we do. There's what she looks like all opened up. We still have the four corners of our building marked. Matt's on his way back here with the chainsaw. So we're going to start cutting these up, get as many usable logs out of it. He wants some for Finn's post. The homeowner wants some for some projects around here. We'll probably down stack that pile a little bit later. I just wanted to get everything out and get it situated. So we're going to go grab some lunch, come back, and uh, see if we can go uh, full oil logging, I guess. all right so we are back from lunch here's the thought process here's what we're thinking here's what we're planning here's what we hope works is uh aaron's gonna put the forks on the skid steer matt's got his trailer up here and uh, we're gonna try to cut those up into about 12 foot long sections throw them up on matt's trailer and uh, he's gonna haul out of here we well, can got the got the big old low boy here i think your rims are worth more than your trailer I'm 100% confident you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it works. Well, the good news is I don't think we have to worry about rookie operator Aaron ruining this thing or damaging it. Now, you literally just jinxed it. I, probably I told did. Aaron there's only four things I'm worried about, and that's the tires. <laughs> <laughs> we have, do we have some cutting devices? Not up here. All right. Shh, don't tell anybody. Our little secret. How's the bugger happen? He brought a little toy. I'm trying to think of what Logger Wave would say about that song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Track, better go do something. All right, so Matt's got these in two where he wants them. I think he's gonna take these posts and use them for cedar trees. I, or not cedar trees. <laughs> I think he's gonna use them for fence posts. So, I'm gonna swing these over here. Well, he can cut the stuff off of them. It's like a dog trying to get through a door too big a bone. Hey, I thought you were going to take that one out of the way. I bet that's too much fun watching you struggle trying to get around it. Now, if you'd have listened to me, took that one out of the way right there, we wouldn't be having it. Uh, that, that's the last one. I'm saving that one for last. Oh, okay. All right, let me show you something here real quick. Switch me. You want the good saws? Is that what you want? No. 
So you see whenever you cut that last one, see how it all ripped off at the bottom? Yeah, it bottom? started at the bottom just a little bit just and then it. That one hadn't been started yet. <laughs> Your chain's a lot sharper than mine. I'm using that saw. I think it's also Mopar. <laughs> Mopar. <laughs> and uh, how's it going over here, sir? <laughs> I, I think I'm getting where I can uh, not make it through here. Uh, once I get past that one, and that one, and that one, I think I'll be all right. Famous last words, huh? <laughs> Then manage to get that one long on the trailer. We're gonna turn these. He can fork them. Hopefully he can get these on the trailer. I think if you fork them right there, you can back up and then go to the trailer straight. tree the uh, homeowner actually wants to keep this so we're gonna we're gonna log it up and leave it here Matt's gonna get his saw stuck scraggly stuff that was out here in the middle of the last couple cedars we took down in that big sycamore tree so now the plan is i've kind of got this set up to where i'll start pulling trees out of here one by one let matt cut what he wants and then we're going to transfer what we don't want 
over to this side and kind of stage it right there and then once we dig the barrel pit right here the barrel pit will turn into a burn pit you guys saw that that's the plan on, on a small job site like this having everything set up and maximizing your space and efficiency okay. yeah i got you yeah, I can, it must be my my mic i can really hear both of you but anyways, on a job set like this, you may have to handle stuff once or twice more than what you want to, but you gotta be sure you're efficient. Otherwise you just uh, get yourself literally backed into a corner. So anyways, here we go. I hear both of you. This is my attempt at de-limbing a cedar tree with a trigo. To get it wedged up and get the stuff wedged in there and just try to get a little bit. That was a good one there. Come on, baby. There you go. That ain't pretty, but she was. Got a nice little pile of logs here. Let's see if old Aaron can get them all to the trailer. Think you can handle that big load? That's right. I can handle it just fine. I don't know about the trailer. <laughs> Is it uh, full? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty full. I don't know, Matt might want to see what he thinks, how much he wants to go on this. We got a system. We got this is working pretty well. Clean it up nice. What are you gonna do with all your cedar trees? Throw them in a corner till I need them. <laughs> Just in case pile. Just in case pile. All right, you guys kind of got the process. I'm gonna throw you up on time lapse, and we're gonna finish processing that pile.
Well, man, behind the scenes, Mr. Millennial. Look at you. Look at you two Twinkies. Did you call and dress alike this morning? I called yours last night and I said, let's wear our new greasy shirts. Where's yours at? Here's the question. Comment below who wore it better. <laughs> they really don't have to get into that argument. I got my opinion, but I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> Whip up the first. I know it is, ain't it? So this is what she looks like at the end of the day. It's hard to believe. What, uh, six, seven hours ago, this is all thick, dense woods. Yeah. But we still we still do have two flags left. Two flags survived. So uh, two out of four, that's fifty percent. That's not not too bad. For you, that's really good. It is really good. So I got and, uh, and the persimmetry still yeah. here. The uh, got a small pile of logs there. That's the one the uh, homeowner asked us to uh, save for him. A couple trees over there he wanted to save. That one got a little ding on the bottom of it. But uh, for what we were doing in here with these big old long trees, I think we come along pretty good. This pile of brush here, so here's here's kind of the plan. We'll hopefully get into this tomorrow. We got the brush, we got the stumps, we got debris. So tomorrow we're gonna come in here and dig a borrow pit right here in this area. Once we get this borrow pit dug out, we're going to take some of the brush, put it down in the down in the hole, hopefully have a controlled burn. Is uh kind of the plan, but uh this all went pretty good. One last thing I'll show you. Before I let you go, is we did end up with quite a few cedar logs. I don't know what uh, what Matt's going to do with them all, but these here are the ones we could not get on his trailer because <laughs> I'm not going to follow him home. And I hope Officer Hoover don't watch this. This is his trailer. He's got. Uh, I guess it don't look quite as bad. He must have kicked a few off. He's got a pretty good little load on there, though. If you go see the dip just right, those may end up uh, dragging the ground. But he's got a uh, pretty good little stash of cedar logs. Those will keep for a long time. I think he's got a few projects around the house and uh, some fence posts he's going to use them for. So glad to see him go to good use instead of uh, go to the fire. If you guys notice in the time lapse, that's uh, honestly a pretty small little brush, pop, brush pile for the uh, area, area we cleared. So pretty pleased with that. So, you loaded them, and you hold them. No, I ain't hold them yet. So, uh, we gonna take bets that they all make it? I'm not. <laughs> There's one that already didn't make it. It went through the other side of the trailer, bent the fender, and I didn't bend it back up, so we're good. <laughs> we're just gonna save it for tomorrow. So. Hey, you didn't say anything about the fender. You uh, said I the said wheels. it. Wheels and red truck. He said there's four things he cares about. about, four tires, and that was it. So. <laughs> and the red truck. And all right, let's, uh, be back tomorrow news of dirt. Tell them bye. See you on the next. We'll you, stay another two, morning. three hours. Do you remember the do you remember oh. the little speech? See if you can get it right. Huh? See if you can get it right. Let's Don't speak. forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you on the next one. He nailed it! Th this ain't there's gonna be another part of this video. Tomorrow. <laughs> I just got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. That's a wrap. We'll catch you tomorrow. You gonna live back there? We'll that, see you tomorrow. Sir. What you get for eating bugs? Looking good so far. <laughs> I think we need to tell him he needs to leave the small ones behind. Yeah, I know. I think he had them. You know he's gonna blame it on the guy loaded it, right? Yeah. Oh, he's 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 going. Mm. Oh, drag. Yeah. Yeah. I think that bottom one's gonna be half wore off by the time he gets home. <laughs> I think so. You'll have that one playing down the way. Well, one thing's for sure, we'll be able to track him. Yeah. <laughs>